Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals and how did Topaz and Aquaman know to go to Beach City? Topaz and Aquarine were sent to Earth to collect specific humans. They were looking for people called Lara, Sadie, Connie, my dad, the mailman, and Onion, I think. The reason they were going for these humans was because of the list Steven gave Peridot all the way back in Marble Madness. Oh no, there's lots of humans. There's my dad, Connie, Lars and Sadie, the mailman, Onion, I think. The list. Peridot reported what Steven said word for word. What he said was a bit unclear to her. He listed off six people's names. So she thought there were six varieties of humans and of course Steven's. Topaz and Aquamarine were trying to find... Uh, my dad, a Connie, a Lars, a Sadie, a mailman, and an onion, I think. But the Connie, my dad, Lars, Sadie, the mailman, and Onion, I think, didn't have to be specifically Steven's friends. They could have chosen anyone in the world with the same names. There are lots of Connies, lots of Sadies, and lots of mailmen out there. They could have searched anywhere in the world to find humans with these names. But out of all the places, they chose Peach City, the town which just so happens to be where the Crystal Gems live. How did they decide to go to Beach City first? Well, the report on which humans to take was from Peridot. But Peridot didn't know where all these humans were. Were. When Steven was talking to her, he was in the prime kindergarten, not Beach City. Before the episode The Return, Peridot never even went to Beach City. She was at the Galaxy Warp, but that was it. She didn't know Beach City was where the Crystal Gems lived, yet she knew where to find the Crystal Gems in space. You know who told her where to find the base? It was Lapis. This is their base? Yes. Lapis was the informant for the mission back to Earth. She's the one who dragged me back to Earth. Hey, it wasn't my idea. I was headed to Earth and I needed an informant. She had to tell Homeworld Gems what she knew and what happened. Lapis knew the Crystal Gems' base was in Beach City. She also knew of a Steven and had briefly encountered several humans, including Lars, Sadie, Connie, and Steven's dad, all humans who were on the list. Lapis reported the location of Beach City back to Homeworld. She also reported that there were humans in Beach City. Homeworld doesn't know if there are a lot of humans in other parts of the world. The red eye they had that was scanning the Earth got destroyed. Blue Diamond met with like one human in Korea, but that was it. And the Ruby Squad thought they met humans, but they didn't. The closest they got to meeting with humans was with Steven. Lapis was the only gem before Aquamarine and Topaz, who actually had a recent experience with humans on Earth, and told her findings back to Homeworld without lots of complications. She knew there were humans in Beach City. She may not have remembered their names, but she did see enough of them there. At least she knew there were more than two. That's where humans than Blue Diamond and the Ruby Squad have seen on Earth in the present day. Thanks to Lapis, they know where Beach City is. They knew that going there was their safest bet to collect more humans. So that's where they went. It's because of what Lapis and Peridot told Homeworld that Aquamarine and Topaz took Steven's friends from Beach City specifically. Those two should be feeling pretty responsible for the trouble right about now. Hopefully they'll make it up to Steven in the future. But anyway, thanks for watching and keep Beach City weird. Is it over?